up guys, Haking here bringing you a uh, spoiler video regarding the new Black Clover chapter that's going to be released tomorrow. So we've already got leaks for it. Before I start, please like and subscribe. Do that. That helps a lot. And yeah, let's just go through this because I just read the spoilers for, for, for tomorrow's chapter, okay? Chapter 331. And my mind's blown. I'm pretty sure anyone who's read these spoilers, their mind is blown right now. Um, <laughs> holy shit. Um, first, I'm gonna say I liked the Spade Kingdom arc. It, I thought it was it was pretty good. Yeah, the ending could have been a bit better, but I didn't mind it, do you know what I mean? And this is Tabata, T T Tabata, is that how you say his name? Again, apologize. But the man deserves all of our respect and anyone who doubted him Anyone who did not have faith in his writing ability to to give us some good, good goddamn shit needs to apologize because this chapter, holy crap, just a second. Sorry, I had to let my kitty out. This is annoying. Oh, oh no. Oh, God. Sorry, I'm overwhelmed. I read this and I'm overwhelmed because on one hand, how do I even say this? I'm just gonna read. I'm just gonna read the spoilers for this chapter, all right? And then obviously I'll do. Maybe I'll do. I'll do my review tomorrow. But um, I've already seen some of the leaked panels, and I read the translations. And uh, holy crap! First off, a lot of things are revealed, and not just in this chapter, but in terms of uh, the the uh, of what's gonna happen with the Black Clover manga. Okay, so let's just go right into it. Ah. Uh, Black Clover is entering its final act, Saga, which will properly last 150 to 200 chapters. We're going into the final arc now, boys and girls. We're going, not the arc, the saga, mind you. We just finished the second saga, the Spade Kingdom saga, or if you will, or the Devil Saga, and now we're entering the final saga. Okay? And, uh, holy crap, yeah, I mean, I mean... I kind of, I kind of theorize this that this, this, this story would probably last up to five hundred chapters, maybe. So this is not surprising for me. Like, uh, I, I know, I know the, I know uh, Tabata, like in, in interviews, said, oh, he wants this to last as long as One Piece. But like, when you look at the story and the way it's formed and done, it just wouldn't make sense. It would, it wouldn't make sense that it would last that long. We've got through pretty much all the kingdoms. The only kingdom left, really, to explore is the Diamond Kingdom. And then we have, uh, obviously, uh, Yami's Country of the Rising Sun. Uh, uh, you know, backstory with Charmy and the Dwarves. Uh, learning who Asta's dad is, which I believe we learn in this chapter, actually, if you really pay close attention to well, the little little clue that they give us, that Damatai gives us. Uh, but, uh, yeah, it makes sense. It makes sense that it would be going to its final saga now, so, because the, the, the second act is now complete, and now we're entering the third act, so... This is crazy. This is unexpected. Uh, but at the same time, it is expected if you if you believe that this would be sort of like a short series and it wouldn't be as long as One Piece, for example. But that's not that's not the biggest thing. That's not the biggest thing. Okay, this, this is just one of the biggest things. I'm not at the biggest biggest reveal yet for this. So yeah, the manga will go on a high tiers for three months and will start publishing new chapters covering the third and final act of the series every week in same magazine whenever it comes back. So, Tabata is going on a, on a long, well-deserved break. This man has been uh, exhausting himself for our benefit. And, uh, in my honest opinion, every mangaka should be given, uh, you know, allowed to take as, as, as a long as a break they want, like, like at least a good month or two. Like, especially when you finish an arc. Take a break sort of sit down, relax, and figure out where you want to go next with the next story, and then come back and just like, bloom, blow it out of the water, do you know what I mean? So this is nice, this is nice. Uh, for anyone worried, oh, this is going to go on infinite high tiers. No, 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 it says three months. The story will come back in three months. Of course, uh, a lot of people are going to be like, well, what about the anime? Uh, the anime is not coming back, at least for a good while, okay? Like, let, okay let's keep that in mind. But it, it does seem that if it does come back, It'll come back when the manga is over or reaching its conclusion. So, you know, fingers crossed. We do, because from the sounds of it, we've got at least a good, I'd say, three to four years of this story left then. Because if that's the case, if we're only getting 150 to 200 chapters, we've got a good three to four years left. So, before before Black Clover ends. So, you know, still enough time for the manga to come back. Especially when we have the movie coming out next year. 
and then obviously, so most likely, the, the, you know, the, it, it will come back in 2025 or 2026, really. We need to make our voices heard if we want it to return. So that's that. We're entering the final act saga, and it's going on a high taste for three months, and it's going to come back in three months and start the new saga. So yeah, let's go to the actual spoilers for this chapter. Again, guys, like and subscribe. <laughs> Seriously. Reading these, I got chills. I got massive chills, like, from my freaking spine to my neck reading this. Like, I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe that certain people's theories ended up being correct. And it made sense. You know, for, for, for that point in time, it was like, you know, this would actually make sense. But at the same time, it's like, would it though? Would it? It does. So, we, we get the big reveal that uh, basically Julius is the bad guy. Yeah. He's the bad guy. He's the main villain. He's the he's been the main villain from from the, since the very beginning of the series. He's he's the big bad. He's the big mastermind. He's the one who manipulated events to get things to where they are. He is the fourth dark triad sibling. He, he is Lucius Zogat. Now, yeah, and 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 he's the and he's the and he's the host. He's the devil host for Astaroth, the time devil. <laughs> the time devil, Astaroth, Astaroth. <laughs> It's freaking obvious that this is Asta's dad, okay? Like, a, a Domitino got a freaking right. Like, what, you called Asta a devil? No, man, you, you got the wrong devil, dude. You got the right sort of name. You got the wrong person, though. Like, it was freaking... It was freaking Julius and Asta's dad. Like, uh, it's pretty obvious. It's pretty obvious that's what's going to be real, that Astaroth is Asta's dad. But the revelation that Julius is the bad guy and that he's the, that he's the fourth Zolkitz. Now, here, here's the big twist, though, in all of this. So Domitino finds this out, he, he, he's been doing his research since that entire trial and he figures out that uh, Megacula basically was, was not this high ranking devil, like she, rep she ended up replacing another devil called Astaroth who was the time devil. Which means that Astaroth left the underworld a good, good like 20 years ago basically. And 20 years ago that's when Julius became the Wizard King. And in those 20 years time he recruited Yami and William. See, the answer the connecting now. And, yeah, uh, and uh, Domitino confronts Julius, and Julius, well, the fourth Zygotes brother ends up taking over and killing so, killing Domitino. So Domitino's dead. And, yeah, taking over, what does that mean? Well, it, it seems that Julius and uh, uh, Lucius are two different personalities, it seems. It's, it, 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 look, it, look like, it looked like Julius was, because there was that moment a few chapters back where he sensed that something was wrong. And... Yeah, he realizes too late what that means. He gets told the truth, and he realizes what that means. And before he can do anything about it, or even tell Domitino to stop him, it seems that there's a personality change. It, 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 it seems like there's a soul that takes over from inside his body. So it's it's very it's it's a very similar situation to William and Patrick basically. And yeah, he gets taken over by the fourth sibling, and he kills Domitino like like a, he just touches his forehead, and he's a uh, Grimoire changes as well. And then it ends with freaking uh, Old Dramatic, whatever he's called, appearing in the window saying, Oh, well, you'd be, oh, okay, you're doing, you, you've been, everything's set up then. Here we go. Um, this is crazy. Um, yeah, like, I, 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 I'm just freaking shook up, man. I'm freaking shook up, like, like. I mean, the chapter pretty much begins with with Asta and Yuna and and celebrations basically, and Asta saying he doesn't want to become the uh, king of the Spade Kingdom, and then and then there's a bunch of clocks. We keep getting a bunch of clocks and and signifying time and foreshadowing that we've been getting for a good while now throughout these chapters, by the way. And yeah, uh, we, we get the big revelation that Lucifero's other name is basically saying, and that he was the Gravity Devil. Uh, and, and that there were three devils that basically ruled the Underworld originally, which was Lucifero, uh, Beezlebob, and Astaroth. Uh, you know, gravity, spatial, and time magic, basically. And there's only one guy in the entire Clover Kingdom who's ever used time magic, and that's Julius. And that's how Domitino figured it out. And he gets killed for it before, you know, before he could act on it, like, do anything about it. He gets killed, like, as he reveals it. And yeah, um... 
Oh man, it, this is crazy. Like it, it's crazy because uh, the foreshadowing for this has been there since day one. Actually, like people came up with very good theories. Like people even predicted, like when the fourth Zolgat's brother was revealed or introduced in, in that chapter, like in Zenon's flashback, people were like, "It's Julius. It, it's freaking Julius." And people started coming up with these very crazy theories. And it's been there since the very beginning of the anime as well, because uh, apparently, in opening two or opening three. When, when you see Julius in the in the opening, he sort of got like this, uh, what is a black background uh, uh, color scheme towards it, which is very similar to the uh, traitor characters in, in, in those openings. So that was a big freaking clue, but uh, I just never assumed. I like, uh, I, I, it's, it's never a case of, oh, this would make sense. No, it's always been a case of, this would be interesting, but he seems too much of a nice guy, right? But then it makes sense, wouldn't it? Like if he was manipulating anyone. But no, it seems to be a case that he's being controlled or perhaps this is uh, this is a personality that uh, the the fourth sibling created, so he could go unnoticed, uh, and it would make sense because um because you, you know all the siblings have had, had specific things related to bodies basically you know uh, Zenon was freaking bones, uh, Dante was muscles, Valica was blood. It makes sense that Julia uh, Lucius would be soul basically. Like this is insane. This is an insane reveal. But um, holy crap, <laughs> holy crap. Uh, yeah. Who's, who's, no, seriously, besides a good few people who predicted it, who predicted, who, pre who predicted this? Who else saw this coming? Like, holy shit, my mind's blown. Like, this is insane. This is how the, this is how the Spain Kingdom, like, this is how the second saga ends with that big reveal. It's beautiful. It's freaking beautiful. I love it. I love it. Uh, and people doubt it, Tabitha. Like, he doubt, he doubt it, he's right. Like, come on. After reading this, you can, you can, can you doubt him any further? Like, no, you can never doubt this man again. Like, he knows what he's doing. Like, show him some bloody respect. And he deserves the break. Have that break, dude. Have it. Have it. Enjoy it. And, and come back with a fury that we've never seen before. And give us that Black Clover goodness. Because, holy crap, you knocked it out of the park. That is brilliant. Brilliant. I know, I'm overhyping it, but it's crazy, but this is a good bloody chapter, man. Um, and I can't wait to read it properly tomorrow. Uh, but yeah, guys, remember, again, like and subscribe. I know, I'm repeating myself, but Jesus Christ. Um, yeah, I'll see you when I shall see you. Take